Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As far as the current technology is concerned, if you want to achieve a true process chip below 7 nanometers, you must use an EUV lithography machine. Currently, the only one that can be produced globally is ASML of the Netherlands. Excessive American technology has penetrated. As a result, ASML lost its independent management rights. Through TSMC's foundry, Huawei developed and mass-produced the world's first 5 nanometers chip. With its own 5G technology, High Silicon's limelight once overshadowed Qualcomm. Faced with the decline in the media's competitive advantage, the Biden team began a series of action against Chinese semiconductors. Under the influence of the current special situation, the Russian market is facing the same situation as China. In the face of a comprehensive blockade of European and American semiconductor technology, China and Russia have clearly stood on a united front at the level of chip technology research and development. They have given up on the United States and Western countries. After realizing his dream, he focused on independent research and development. China and Russia took action one after another. Obviously, in order to solve the bottleneck of chip manufacturing, the first breakthrough is lithography equipment. To this end, Russia has formulated a corresponding plan. Russian senior executive Vasily Shpak officially announced 211.4 billion rubles, 16.616 billion yuan, will be allocated in 2024. Used for domestic electronic product development, we will start producing 350 nanometers lithography machines in 2024 and solve the problem of 130 nanometers lithography machines in 2026. According to information disclosed by people familiar with the matter, Russia has mastered 65 nanometers chip manufacturing technology, but it is still highly dependent on overseas lithography equipment. In view of the current market conditions, it is more difficult to continue to import ASML lithography machines than in China. Enterprises face a lot of difficulties. In order to no longer be controlled by others, they can only start independent research and development of technology. After completing the autonomous 130 nanometers lithography machine, Russia can start manufacturing chips from 350 nanometers to 65 nanometers. This range of processes is mainly used in microcontrollers, power electronics, telecommunications circuits, automotive electronics, etc., accounting for 60% of the entire market. Above, and there will not be much change in the next 10 years. As long as this range of autonomy is achieved, basic industries will not be stuck. Compared with Russia and China, their goals are naturally broader. After more than three years of sanctions and suppression by the Biden team, Chinese companies have found a bright road. Under the leadership of Huawei, they have built a completely independent industry. Chain, and the state's support in this regard is also increasing, and major university research institutes have also joined the game. According to people familiar with the matter, the China Semiconductor Fund is raising a sum of 300 billion in funds to focus on solving the bottleneck of chip manufacturing equipment. 
The Ministry of Finance of China will invest 60 billion, and other funds will be raised from other institutions. A company will be established in the future to focus on solving the bottleneck of chip manufacturing equipment. Enterprises specializing in R&D, production, and sales of lithography equipment to meet the needs of the current domestic semiconductor industry chain. This investment is also called a big fund. It has previously raised 138.7 billion yuan and 200 billion yuan respectively. Most of the funds came from powerful state-owned enterprises. The third time the funds raised were directly increased to 300 billion yuan, which naturally means that there will be bigger actions in the future, aiming to completely solve the problem of stuck neck in photolithography equipment. China has allocated 300 billion in funds, while Russia has only allocated 16.6 billion. The seemingly vastly different data reflect the current status of the semiconductor fields in the two countries. Russia is completely blank at the semiconductor level, and currently it can only find ways to save it. Basic Industries But China's situation is different. The birth of Huawei's 5G has brought competition, at the technological level to the same dimension. However, if we want to maintain corresponding competitiveness, we must have a steady stream of high-performance chips. The Biden team has been by engaging in small moves in this regard. China can only be forced to pursue the most cutting-edge technological autonomy. What is the direction of China's semiconductors? ASML would rather betray the Biden team to keep the Chinese market. Naturally, it comes for profits. The potential of China's semiconductors is unlimited. The current market value of core making equipment imports has already surpassed the United States, especially the return of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip has confirmed China's urgent need for lithography machines. In this context, China's official announcement of self-developed lithography machines can also stimulate the Biden team to relax relevant restrictions on Chinese companies. This can also gain more space and time for development. If the United States insists on implementing a decoupling plan for the Chinese market, will ultimately end up creating a cocoon of its own. The market restrictions imposed by China and Russia have made various countries wary. In addition to China and Russia, countries and regions such as the European Union, India, Japan and South Korea have successively launched local chip manufacturing plans, and the chain reaction has been fully expanded. At present, the role of the tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands is ineffective. It would be too naive for the Biden team to restrict Chinese semiconductors simply from the lithography machine level. At present, the country has achieved the independence of core technologies. The current 28 nanometers lithography machine is already in the resource integration stage, and the outcome is basically doomed. How Huawei Kirin 9000S came back is still unclear to the Biden team. It has simply confirmed performance comparable to 7 nanometers. No one knows how much strength China Semiconductor has hidden. What do you think of this?